The new mob farm is now completed. Level 51, and now we can max out Iron Skin. Level 3 random crits. Level 4 melee damage. The master equipment forge. And it looks like this. <laughs> Holy shit! Now everything has six hearts. The flame dragon bone rapier. What? Sharpness 5, mending, subject PEI 4, and Invendum 3. That is a fucking sword. Well, boys, we've been on the ground for way too long, and I've been doing some research into things that could get us off the ground to help us with exploration. And thankfully, since we're in a savanna biome, that brought me to the rock. Today, I want to get a flying mount. I want to use that flying mount to explore and raid and defeat everything. But the only way we're going to do that is if we have the power of the sky. To do this, though, we have a few items we need to make. First off, to tame a rock, we're going to need an avian tree. And thankfully, it's pretty easy to craft these since we're so close to a desert, we can go ahead and get cooked joust meat. And then secondly, we need to get a soul gazer. And the reason why we need this item is because it lets us permanently keep our pet forever. So even if it were to die, we just have to wait a little bit of time for it to respawn. So it does hurt, you know, we don't have that many diamonds still, but uh, whenever we do get this flying mount, we can go to battle towers. I could just jump on top of it, take down the fucking golem with ease. So I've gone ahead and I've already grabbed all the items that we're gonna need to craft the soul gazer and the soul stone, but I've realized we're low on bones. And of course we're still gonna need to get the raw joust meat to cook up for the avian treats. I'm gonna head over here to the desert, kill a bunch of joust. So far I've got an extra bit of joust meat now. That'll be enough to create eight treats in total, just in case the first treat fails to tame the rock. I've gone ahead and grabbed six out of the furnaces just to go ahead and make four. And boom, four avian treats. Not bad. I'm going to hold on to these and hopefully tonight there will be a rock spawn. If not, you know, we've got multiple nights, boys. We got multiple nights, but I'm hoping we get one as fast as possible because I want to do a lot of exploration. So for now, I'm going to walk outside. Look, oh, yo, a scarlet. Oh, that'd be sick to tame. Please let us get this bad boy. It was, it took one tree. Holy shit, we got a rock on the first tree. All right, that is super fucking sick. All right, now we really need to get the soul gazer. So let's get this guy to follow us and put him somewhere safe just so he doesn't die out here. Come on, buddy. We'll think of a name later. You know, right now the name isn't important because if he dies, it won't go to anything. Let's open this up so we can actually let him inside. I did not expect to tame him on the first street. I'm going to be honest, but that's so fucking cool. Nice. We actually have a flying mount now. I didn't think it would be that easy. All right. We'll let him stay in there for now. We'll get a saddle. We'll get the soul stone. So if he does die, we'll have him respawn. And yeah. We're set up. Sick. This is why I love the Savannah bio, man. Rocks spawn everywhere. Look at that. In action as well. What do you think's doing next to my house? <laughs> oh, they drop bones. Dude, everything is going nicely right now. Check this out. Seven bones. I think that's fine. This is awesome. This is sick. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and make a soul stone, which I think is in this recipe. I've actually never made one of these before. So this is the first time I've ever done this. So there's our soul gazer. And then we need to make our soul stone. Surround this with diamonds. There's our soul stone. So let's make it official. Your rock has been bound. You will now find it in your mount manager. Now, if we open up our summoning menu, you can see we have our rock in our mount section. That is so fucking cool. Now, now all we need is a saddle and I think we may have the stuff to craft it. I know we need three leather, some string, and some iron. So let me check. Oh, nice. Okay. So we do have the stuff to make a saddle. So let me grab all the stuff. Boom. We got a saddle. Let's go back over to our rock and slap this on. I've never actually flown one of these before, but <laughs> yo, this is fucking sick. I've never done this before. All right. So we'll let him sit right here. I'm super fucking excited. What the? I didn't think it would be that fast to get a rock mount. Now that we do have a rock though, I think it may be best to slap on some armor before we do use him and thankfully pet armor isn't too difficult to create especially since we have a shit ton of iron bars so i'm gonna go ahead and create iron pet armor and put it on him two iron ingots on the left and the right iron legs on the bottom and then a helmet on top there we go iron pet armor we may want to reroll the quality though because it got unlucky and it rolled heavy so let's see if we can get that to something better hey there we go protective that looks fine enough all right let's go ahead and open up his inventory put on his brand new armor and there he is check out our new first ever flying mount this guy is going to help us get to play Places that we would have never been able to. And you know what? Something so cool as this definitely deserves a name. And I think I want to call him Phoenix. The red feathers, the bird-like features, that beautiful claw. <laughs> I definitely want to call you Phoenix. Now that we do have our mount over there, our boy Phoenix, I'm going to go ahead and go into my enchantment book chest and grab Unbreaking 3 and Mending and apply both of those to my shield. Mostly because I don't want to lose Natural Blocking 2. It's such a nice enchant and it's been carrying us hardcore through everything back 
bad that's happened. So, I'm gonna slap on Mending, and then we're gonna go ahead and put on Unbreaking 3. Uh, you know, that'll make it last for a little bit longer. <laughs> oh shit, that reminds me. We need to make one thing before we do any major exploring as well. We need to make a Flame Dragon Bone Strength and Longbow. The reason why is we have no ranged weapons except for our summoning staff. And half the time, summons don't actually get that close enough to even aggro onto my targets. So I believe it's best to go ahead and craft this bow just in case we get into any real sticky situations. All right, put our handle up here, two sticks, get our two dragon bones in the corners, and then put our string going all the way around it, and there is our dragon bone strength and longbow. Now we take our fire dragon's blood, combine those two, flame dragon bone strength and longbow. Nice. There's no quality on it, but we could try and see if we could smack something onto it with the dragon bones. Hopefully we get something good. Here we go. You know what? I'll take that for now. Powerful is fantastic. 10% projectile damage. Not bad. We do need to do a little bit of grinding at the experience farm to see if we can enchant this with some good enchants. So I'm going to go ahead, do a little bit of grinding, and I'll show you what we get. All right, there's level 30. You're gonna turn off the farm for now to stop the lag. What I'm going for on this bow, I'm not making like a god bow or anything just at the moment. I'm just looking to get something temporarily for the time being. So I'm looking for at least range and power. A good level of power will be fine, but level three would be decent as well. Power four. Ooh, put in the lapis and please, I'm hoping we get some more. Come on. Oh, just power four. Okay. Well, it's good enough for now. We can add more to the future as well. And while we're exploring, who knows? Maybe we'll find some good books that we can put onto it through the anvil. And while I was doing a bunch of enchanting, I got a Spikes 2 book. And I went ahead and put that onto my shield. Now we have Spikes 3. Now that we do have a brand new flying mount and we have a brand new bow, there's one final thing that we need. That is an atlas. I know a lot of you have been telling me to make one of these, but I've never really had a point to do it until now. Now that we're going to be flying everywhere, this book allows us to open it, see the map around the world that we explore, and place down markers and name them to see exactly what was there whenever we're passing by. So it's basically a way to log our exploring. So we need to put the book here, one feather and one ink sack. There's our book and quill. So now we combine the compass with the book and quill, and there's our empty antique atlas. So if we open Open it up now you can see we can zoom in i've gone ahead and added a marker on top of us called home so in the future we know exactly where our base is so now we're ready to do some exploring i'm going to go ahead and put up all the stuff that i know i'm not going to be using and then i'll summon our rock phoenix my boy come to daddy yeah, there you are, buddy. Look at this shit. This is actually fucking badass. So we've already been in this direction beforehand, and we've already explored a little bit down there. So what I suggest is that we explore in this direction over here. I don't think we've ever gone that far in that direction, excluding the battle tower that we did over here. So I'm hoping we'll find some stuff, maybe a village, and maybe finally we'll find a fucking carrot. Now we do have a dungeon still next to our base. But... <laughs> oh wow, he's already dead. <laughs> This sword is so good. I'd say the beginning of our adventure is going nice. Now, I don't need any extra fire dragon's blood just yet, but I'm just going to go ahead and grab all of his bones and scales. Managed to get 10 dragon bones and 11 dragon scales. All right. See, he was a pretty small dragon, but you know, we'll find some bigger ones along the way. Okay, well, there's another dragon over there. How many dragons do we have around our base? Oh my god. There's two in the desert. There's one right here that we just killed. We did kill another one in the distance, and now there's another one over here? We have a fucking ton of dragons. More for us to kill, I would suppose. Let's summon our boy back. There he is. All right. Come on, Phoenix. For now, we're just going to ignore dragons that are floating in the sky, and we'll take on ones on the ground. I think that's a better plan instead of just bum-rushing everything. Is he landing? So you've chosen death. Don't hit me. What did I do to you? <laughs> All right, another one bites the dice. Let's see what we get. From that great dragon, we get another 10 scales and eight bones. Okay, all right. You know, when I, whenever I said I wanted to explore, I, I didn't mean going on a dragon killing adventure, but if we see them and they're landing, we're just gonna go ahead and kill them. Fuck it, dude. I hate all these dragons around my base. They prevent me from doing so much. So I think it's time to pay them back a lesson. But only the ones on the ground, like I said. Sorry for the multiple stops, Phoenix. Let's go find some shit again. Ooh, we got a battle tower. Okay, our first victim. Let's see if we can actually pull this off. I'm gonna go ahead and eat a gapple before I jump on top. Well, boys, you know, the battle tower from episode two was a little bit difficult. How about now? <laughs> All right, let's back up. This shit's about to blow up. All right, so I'm gonna wait for this to blow up. Oh, and we got a village down there. Sick. Oh yeah, we got some good fucking loot in there. This episode is gonna have so much exploding. <laughs> All right, it's done. It's done. Woo! 
Ooh, look at this. We gotta pick up all this fast, though. These things tend to despawn very quickly, but god damn, that's some fucking loot. Oh, we got a bow with ranged. Holy shit, that's so fucking good. That is such a good enchant. We're definitely gonna hold on to that bad boy for the base. I knew we'd find some good enchants to put on our brand new bow. Okay, not bad. So, for our first battle tower, two blocks of diamonds, 19 diamonds straight up, 32 bottles of enchanting, 19 iron ingots, a ranged bow, diamond sword, diamond pickaxe, which will both smelt those down, and three recall potions, which I will definitely hold one on our bar while we're exploring. Now I'm gonna come over here to this village that spawned, and hopefully we find some carrots so you guys stop fucking combating carrots! <laughs> Oh, man. I would love to find a carrot, though. Oh, shit. A waystone. Now we have two villages with multiple waystones. One next to our base and one all the way over here. Eventually, we'll get a network going where we can actually teleport between a bunch of different villages. We've also got a library right here. So I'm going to go inside and see if there's any lucky enchanted books. If we get a really good enchanted book, I'm actually going to fucking come. Oh, mending. There we go. Now we're talking. And Death Strider 2. Yeah, no, okay. These are pretty good books. I'll take both of those. Now I'm going to take a look around the village. See if there's any carrot. <laughs> At long last, at long fucking last, the forbidden fruit. You guys made fun of me. You guys made fun of me for so fucking long. I was looking around for a librarian for enchanted books and possibly a carrot, and there it is. I fucking found the goddamn carrot. And you know what's fucking hilarious? The last time we played, the Dragon's Eye recipe was super easy to make. They updated it now, man. It's a lot harder than what it used to be. So instead of glowing ingots going around it, we need glowing gems, which are made of four glowing ingots each, four glowing powder, and a block of diamond. But now that we've got a flying mountain, we're going and busting down battle towers. I feel like we'll finally be able to make the Dragon's Eye at long fucking last. Hell yes, dude. This is the motherfucking episode right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up an extra bit of carrots as well, because maybe we can start a carrot farm, huh? So, our inventory is full of loot. I'm gonna head back to the base, make a new chest, and then bombard this all into that one. All right, I'm gonna drop over next to the experience farm. I'm gonna go ahead and chop down a tree, get some logs, and make a quick chest. I went ahead, crafted three chests. I'm gonna go ahead and put these right inside of the experience farm to have them as fast access. I know it'd make a little bit more sense to actually put them inside of our real house, but see, it's a little bit crowded in there. I, I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> so, we got our dragon skulls and all the bones. We've got our diamonds down here in the bottom and more lapis which is fantastic. We need that for enchanting. Our dragon scales are going to go right down here below the skulls. And we're definitely going to be taking ranged off of this and putting it onto our other bow. We got a disenchantment table right here. We're going to put that in there. And now we can combine that with our power four bow. And this is is actually really fucking strong right now. Even though I said I was only going for like a decent bow, power four and range is a very nasty combination. What in the fuck? How did you- There's a skeleton outside with brand new fucking Tims. Holy shit. Stop shooting, I want to see the drip. I know, right? He's being a bitch. You stupid... You stupid fuck. <laughs> oh my god, I got the Tims. No! They're durability zero, they're not fresh. Get this out of my fucking face. You know what? I want to see how strong this bow actually could be. So I'm going to shoot this nymph. I need 18 agility to use this... I am actually fucking stupid. Oh my... Do I have enough? Okay, now let's try out the brand new bow. Woo! Damn! Okay, that's actually pretty good. All right, we'll keep adding enchant onto that while we find them. And I'm gonna put the rest of the stuff into the chest as well as the carrot, because I don't think we have everything to make the dragon's eye just yet, because that's gonna require a bunch of glowing ingots. But hopefully we'll find some in the battle towers and stuff that we do. So back onto our journey. I think we're gonna start heading in this direction instead, and hopefully we find some more stuff. So that- Oh, shit! Well, boys, I'm going in for the kill. Ah, here we go! Nice! 15 bronze scales and another 11 dragon bones. It's pretty good. All right, Phoenix is ready to resummon. Let's keep on looking around the area. Ooh, now this we know has a diamond block inside of it. I'm gonna go inside of here and grab that, because we do need a bunch of diamonds. Two iron blocks and another block of diamond. Man, we're getting through shit speedily. This is going really fucking well. All right, let's keep going. We do need to be careful about our inventory space, though, especially when we're going around and looting a bunch of shit. We're going to run out very quickly if we don't keep track of what we're picking up, especially if we're blowing up battle towers as well, which I would love to find another one. That shit's fun as fuck. Speak of the devil, look what we found. <laughs> Hey, 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 I'm gonna wait for this to blow up and see what the fucking spoils are. Oh, wow. Holy. Whoa. My leg. No, Phoenix, come send me. 
Oh, fuck, I'm so bad at getting off mounts. This is so good. This is so fucking good. I'm getting so much loot from this. I'm gonna go ahead and save any music disc we get as well, because in the future, whenever we try to craft golem armor, there is a chance that we need these for that. So it's probably best to stockpile those while we can. I picked up all the best loot I could see on the ground. I'm gonna recall back to the base and yeah, put up all this stuff. Home sweet home. Put up all the dragon stuff. We got more scales as well. I don't know if we're going to be using the dragon scales for armor because sea serpent is better, but maybe it could be backup armor if things go south. There's the new lapis blocks, more diamonds, some iron blocks, some blocks of emerald. Ooh, this is feeling good. I don't think we're going to be running low on diamonds anytime soon or really any ore of that part. All right, there's everything put up into the chest. So far from two trips, I got to say, a flying mount makes a lot of fucking difference. <laughs> God damn, I, I should have done this way earlier. I got to dismiss miss phoenix right quick and then resummon him so it'll take a little bit of time so while we're waiting what could we do while we're waiting can we craft the dragon's eye yet do we have enough to craft this how many glowing ingots do we have right now is the question because that'll shave off a little bit of grind from that i'm surprised we haven't got any glowing ingots from the battle towers yet but like i said eventually we will so we got three at the moment and we got five more silver ingots i think what i'll be doing is crafting some of the glowing gems over time because we are definitely going to be grabbing the dragon's eye today it is long overdue for this item i'm gonna need a shit ton of glowstone and blaze powder though to convert these into glowing ingots, but thankfully, that rainstorm mob event gave us a ton of glowstone. And we always have a bunch of blaze powder waiting for us right here and over at the lava farm. It's been a while since we crafted some of these, but there's five glowing ingots. And actually, they stack now, which I fucking love, man. You used to not be able to stack them. I'm just gonna put up all the glowstone inside of this chest over at the mob farm. Oh, wait a minute! I have- s I forgot I had so many bones in this chest over here. Oh my fucking god. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> uh, now that we got that, though, what do we need to make a glowing gem? We need- Oh yeah, Okay, so we need to convert a glowing ingot into four glowing powder. And then we need to grab one of our blocks of diamonds, throw them all into the crafting table. And there's our first glowing gem. The first of the three that we need to make the dragon's eye. Now that we do have Phoenix resummoned, though, I'm going to probably continue looking in that direction for some more battle towers. But wait, there is this up here. This boat has been above our base for so fuck. I forgot about this boat. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot that this existed. This is actually a really fucking overpowered boat to have right next to my spawn. Anvils galore. I will never need a new anvil ever. This will last us for fucking years. God damn, I didn't know there were this many anvils, dude. I'm already at half a fucking stack. <laughs> Holy shit. This really does have a fucking ton of anvils. We got 40 fucking anvils from that. So definitely pretty good for the future. Now let's head downstairs and see what we got. I know a lot of people have been telling me to make this boat in the sky a base, but listen guys, I think you are judging my current base a little bit too much. What's what's the problem? The floor is gravel. You can't go wrong with gravel. Most of these chests are just kind of filled with leather armor and potatoes and some like pretty low enchanted items. So nothing too great, but all those anvils are definitely fucking nice. I'm going to go back to the base and put those up and then we'll go back to a exploring. All right, well, now that we got everything put up into the chest and we went up to the boat, I'm going to be flying back into this direction again, and hopefully we'll find another battle tower. I fucking love destroying these battle towers now. This is payback for fucking episode two. Fuck these goddamn golems, man. I'm also on the hunt for a specific underwater generation. And there it fucking is. Wow, holy shit. Speak of the fucking devil. This is exactly what I was fucking looking for. I did not expect that to spawn that fast. This right here has the chance to give us ruins. And those ruins, like I've said from the previous episodes, are what we need for golem armor. And golem armor is the best armor in this entire mod pack. But it is pretty difficult to get if you roll an unlucky recipe, because the recipe for golem armor is very random. And in fact, look at that. We've already got a crafting ruin. So we will have to make a ruin reader just to figure out exactly what's on these ruins, but it won't be too difficult. Oh, a silk touch book as well. Nice. This place also spawns with a shit ton of enchanted books. And I'm actually going to go ahead and grab this nether wart and soul sand because we need to make a farm just so we can start getting potions going. I would go to the nether and grab soul sand, but hey, it's right here in front of me. May as well take the opportunity. Fire prod three, sharpen three. Eh, it's not that great, but we did get another crafting ruin, so that's nice. There's one final chest, and it's a double chest. It's a big one right in the middle. We're saving it for the last. Come on, big chest. Hook us up. Fire aspect one. Fire prod three, strafe two. Oh, fuck. That's not good at all. Well, pretty unlucky inside of this one. We only got two ruins and these two enchantment books, and they weren't really the best. But we do have a chance of one of these being golem armor, and that would be fantastic. So... Let's keep on exploring. Come down to me, Phoenix. Where you at? I appreciate your service. Hey, this is what I like to see. A free block of diamond inside. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. 
Nice, there we go. Oh, an ocean temple, an actual legitimate fucking ocean temple. What the fuck? You don't see those that often in our all craft. Hey, nice. That's what we're looking for. Sick. Okay, let's just jump into it. Phoenix, get out of the water. You're gonna fucking drown. All right, hopefully we get some more ruins and some lucky books. Hey, there we go. Starting off strong. We've already got a ruin. Oh, there's another one. Nice. Knockback two, flinging two. Oh, nasty enchants. Nasty, nasty. Go ahead and pick up all this nether wart and soul sand. We got a strafe two book again. All right, we'll make strafe three. Bane of arthropods four and unpredictable two. Get that the fuck away from me. Holy shit. Unreasonable one, blocking power two, and knockback two, sharpshooter three. What is it? Increased projectile speed and range and reduces inaccuracy. That's actually pretty good. How high does that actually go up to? Oh, wow, that's the highest level. No, yeah, we'll definitely put that on our bow then. That'll be extremely powerful with the range on the bow already. So we got another two ruins and we got two decent books out of that. And it is becoming nighttime, so I may take a quick nap just so we don't have to worry about all the ocean shit coming and trying to attack us. All right, let's keep exploring. Oh, okay, well, there's another diamond block. Let me go grab that. Holy shit, I blew up. Jesus, fuck. This is why I don't like Meltdown on my chest plate. That just fucking did that. <laughs> yeah, okay, we may actually have to make a new chest plate. I think Dragon actually will be pretty fine as a replacement, but... Fuck this chest plate. I actually just did more damage to myself. I am my own nightmare. God damn. We do got a diamond down here though. And as usual, the diamond block with the two iron blocks. So gonna grab that. There we go. Let's hop back onto our mountain. Keep exploring. Where the fuck did you come? What are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck do you want from me? <laughs> oh my god, this place is dangerous as shit. This is hilarious. All of this is going straight. What the fuck? Two of the- Oh, wow. I need to get in there, though, because these ruins are going to be very nice for golem armor. The only downside is this fucking bitch is there. You know what? I have an idea. I'm going to go around and just kill the sea siren, and then we'll go in for the sea serpent. All right, here we go. Okay, and here comes him. So he's on my minions right now, which gives me time to put some more. What is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? Well, hey, this saves me at the effort of actually getting near him. <laughs> How many scales we get from that? So we got nine blue scales and eight sea serpent fangs. Definitely not the worst. Now we have this all open for us to explore. Hopefully we get some good shit out of it. All right, let's see what we got. Two ruins off the start in the first chest. Not bad. I'm also going to go ahead and take this soul sand and nether word again from this one. And in the future ones, I don't think I'll take any more because I believe this will be enough for now. Another ruin. Nice. Good shit. We're getting fucking pumped up with these. All right, another ruin and levitator one frostwalker two. Frostwalker two is not too bad, but now that we got a flying mount, it kind of seems like a meme. So, gonna put down my cot, take a nap, and then we're gonna teleport back to the base, and we're gonna see if we can make a ruin reader. I don't know if we can yet, but if we can, I'll definitely fucking do that. All right, pop it in, let's go. Welcome home. So, let's take a look and see exactly what we need to make a ruin reader. And there is an advanced version as well, and if we can make that, that one actually shows us what it will craft. This one on the left just tells us what we need to craft it, but the one on the right will actually show us the item. Oh yeah, dude, we definitely could do this. We need a block of quartz though, and I'm not sure exactly. We could go into the nether to get some quick quartz. You know, heading into the nether with all this loot is probably a bad idea, since we do need to get the quartz anyways, but fuck it. You know what? I'm just gonna go and bum rush it. I'm just gonna see if we can get it. Ah, <laughs> uh, this, could, this could go horribly bad, but you know, it'd be funny as fuck. Let's see what happens. Shadow games. I don't know what that does, boys. We may have came to the nether at a bad time and I didn't bring any recall potions. Uh-oh. Bad time for an event game. Bad fucking time. I can't tell exactly what spawned, but you know what? We're not gonna fuck with it. We're not gonna- Oh my god, I'm losing so much FPS. What the fuck? Hold on, let me let me look up exactly what shadow game spawns. I want to know what we're dealing with. A little bit of research goes a long way. So I had to close my game and restart it because apparently I was using 20 gigs of memory <laughs> and that's why my hands look black now, but you know what? It's fine. We could still figure out what we're doing. We got silhouettes, but uh, I did check out what this event spawns, and it's basically just a bunch of grooves and exploding bats. So, I don't know if it actually is spawning them in the nether, or if it's spawning them in the overworld, and we just went to the nether at the same time, but it doesn't seem like a nether exclusive event. On the plus side, though, we do have nether quartz, and that's what we're here for. Oh, this is a weird bug, though. Everything's just pitch black. Are we? Yeah, no, we're pitch black as well. I look like a fucking SCP. Even the nether portal is black. Holy shit. That's fucking terrifying. Hey, there we go. We got some more nether quartz. Nice. 
nice. I was about to say, this is really fucking rare. I don't remember it being this rare. All right, there's 42 nether quartz. Let's make it back to the base, hopefully safe. I don't know exactly what's going to be around us, and I don't know if my game's going to freak out because of this weird bug, but... Oh, fingers crossed. Is everything going to be fixed in the overworld? Okay, thank fuck. I was real fucking worried that shit was going to break because of that, but hey, we seem to be fine. After I saw the shadow event, I thought shit was going to go down, but thankfully nothing did. Now that we got these quartz blocks, though, we can finally create the Ruin Reader and the Advanced Ruin Reader because we do have the stuff for it. So, let's begin with the normal Ruin Reader. Bang, there it is. Nice. And the advanced one, we need obsidian and two blocks of emeralds. So let me grab that from a chest. And... There's the advanced ruin reader. Nice. And it's really bright for some reason in your hand. So I'm going to put it over here at the normal farm. Mostly because this is where I'm starting to put everything. Because you guys keep bullying my normal house. <laughs> What's wrong with them? Now we can put these ruins inside and it'll tell us exactly what we can craft. Let's see what we get. So this one is a wind gym. Hasty pickaxe. Uh, we got an explosion pickaxe. A bound pickaxe. A water talisman. A shock gym. Damn. Okay. So we didn't get anything too good from here, but we can always explore and get some more runes, which we'll probably do in just a sec. So this top chest will hold all the runes for the future. Now that we got that going though, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Strafe 2 books and combine both of them to make Strafe 3 and Power 4. And there goes our anvil. But as you know, we have a unlimited pile of these fucking things now. So go ahead and put that back down. Combining this takes 10 levels, so power 5, range, and strafe 3. Definitely a decent bow. Like I said, not the best, but pretty good for now. We still need to get infinity. That's a big thing. Oh yeah, and we got sharpshooter 3. Oh, but it can't go on to this type of bow. Oh, I thought I could put that on there. I didn't know sharpshooter 3 couldn't be put onto this type of bow though. Maybe it's only crossbow or maybe it's the switch bow. That doesn't bother me though. We still do have some really nice enchants so far. Now it's time to go back onto the journey for more glowing gems because that dragon's eye is going to be ours. I will no longer be made fun of for not having the dragon's eye. So let's summon Phoenix and let's keep exploring. I think for this direction, maybe we'll go past the black dragon in the desert and continue past the village we already know exists. Maybe there's some stuff over there that we haven't seen yet. So I'm going to go ahead and start heading in this direction. The first dragon that we fought was here, man. This was so fucking funny. The minion cheese right there. Oh man, it was so cool. Oh, hey, look, a battle tower. Sick. Oh, two battle towers. What the fuck? Three, three bat. Holy shit. The chances of that hap- Oh, what are you doing below me? Oh shit. Okay, so I did want to do the battle tower, but now there's a fucking dragon there and I kind of don't want to mess with that. God damn it, I really want to do that battle tower. Oh, have we been here before? No, we have not. This is a brand new village. Nice. All right, let's see if we get some cool stuff from here. Oh, we do have a library. Education three from a librarian. God damn, that's fucking good. We will definitely come back for that later. The village actually spawned with the waystone as well, so I'm going to go ahead and activate that. Definitely going to be good for the network we're trying to set up. So this village wasn't really the best. I did activate the waystone though, so the network is growing, but hopefully we find some better ones than that. Education 3 in a book from a librarian isn't too bad, but we're looking for stuff like upgraded potentials. That would be really nice. Come here, boy. Come on. I'm in the grip. Pull me down, you little fuck. Pull me down. Ah! I'm stuck, boys. What do I do? I can't get out. Oh, wait, there we go. Wait, no? No, I'm stuck. Oh, I gotta, I gotta restart my game. I'm stuck in his mouth. <laughs> All right, well, that, oh, there he is. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that was one of the weirdest dragon fights I've done so far. Fighting them on land is definitely really weird. Oh, my chest plate's almost gone. Oh, fuck. Before we do any more exploring, I have to make a new chest plate. I can't be walking around with a chest plate about to just blow up and break off. All right, let's see how many scales and bones we get, though. Let's see if this was worth it. Ooh, 23. Holy shit, what tier was that? Tier 3? Oh, fuck, I forgot to bring recall potions. Ah, oh. <laughs> So, what I'm gonna do is summon Phoenix right here fly back to the base and make a new chest plate and enchant it with the mob farm. After we get that, I'll definitely continue exploring. I'm, s dude, this is so fucking fun. All right, back at the base. Let me go put up everything inside of the loot chest. Now that we're back at the base though, I am gonna go ahead and grab the dragon scales and make a dragon chest plate. And since we have a bunch of extra dragon scales as well, we could try to get a pretty nice roll on it. So let me go see if we can fix this up. All right, let's see if we can get something good. Hey, there we go. We got arcane, plus one magic shielding. That will definitely be nice. It's better than thick though. Jesus, fuck my hips are massive. And lucky enough, the actual level 3 enchant is already prot 4. I was just checking it out before I started grinding, so... Hey, there we go. That's pretty good. That'd be a good replacement. Hopefully we don't roll melt down again. That'd be real fucking cringe. Why is there... What the fuck is that? That is not the chaotic energy I'm used to. 
What the fuck is that? I don't ever remember that spawning. Okay, um, I'm gonna go back to farming. All right, now that we're level 31, gonna slap in the Dragon Scout chest plate and the Lapis Luxilling, and let's see what we get. Just protection four, I'm fine with that. No meltdown will make my life a lot fucking easier. So all we need to do in the future is add Unbreaking three to this, unless we have an Unbreaking three in here already from, oh, there we go, yeah, we already have an Unbreaking three. So do I have any extra books? Yes, I do. We have our Disenchanter, let's pull that off and combine that with our chest plate. And I don't think there's anything else on here that we could add. I don't think I have any more mending books. So for now, this will be our new chest plate. This does mean we won't have strength four in water anymore, but strength three is perfectly fine. This will probably be a lot better than just exploding randomly while fighting shape, because, you know, it's a little bit annoying. All right, now that we got that going, I'm going to continue exploring. Let's re-summon Phoenix. Where you at, my man? There you are. Show you guys if we find anything. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You know what? I may as well, right? Woo! God damn! That one was a lot louder than the previous ones. What the fuck? Let's see. 29 bronze scales and 9 bones and, of course, a tier 3 dragon skull. Not bad. And let's go over here and loot this dragon's body as well. I think that's a fucking tier 5. That's a big fucking skeleton. Not bad. I, I gotta say, a lot of extra bones there as well. We will definitely not be running out of dragon bones for future weapons. This is really fucking nice. Okay, well, we got another dragon. All right, hello. How you doing? <laughs> Room service. Oh, where'd he go? What? 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 <laughs> he's, he's fucking gone. We just got fucking robbed of a dragon kill. <laughs> Did he fall under the world or some shit? Where'd he go? All right, well, uh, he's gone. Uh, that was interesting. I've never had that happen before. Aye, another village. Nice. We got a library anywhere? Yeah, there we go. Let's go inside and check out what we got. So we got a librarian here with ancient sealed curses. Holy fucking shit. That is a fucking crazy role. The one that we want to go for is Ancient Sword Mastery. Now, any level of these will be fine, but if we find a librarian with Ancient Sword Mastery, that would be fucking crazy. Let's see, we got Destructive 4, Shortcast 4, not good. Infinity, yes! There we fucking go! All right, and another Infinity book. Okay, well, do not mind, do not mind. Double Infinity books. That's fucking badass. If we ever decide to make different types of crossbows or bows in the future, this extra Infinity book will definitely be handy. We've checked out the entire village there's no waystone, but we did get two infinity books and I will definitely not fucking complain about that. That is beautiful. I was really hoping we'd get one of those for our brand new bow. All right, let's keep looking around. I'm surprised I haven't ran into any tier five dragon nests peeking out of the ground as well. If we find one of those, we'll definitely make a plan in the future to try and kill it. And hopefully it's a female to try and tame our own little dragon. Nothing will replace Phoenix though. He's my boy. <laughs> I don't, actually, I don't know. A dragon would be pretty fucking cool though. We got a boat around here. Doesn't look like there's anything to attack us. So let's see if we get anything inside of this. What do we got? It's side of here we get oh a cobalt shield holy fuck we actually found something decent oh my god there's another thing over there that's uh, hey, hey this is looking good that's a big motherfucker where is the entrance towards this one? Oh shit he's getting close okay we should be fine by taking him on because i'll also have strength three while in water but if this goes bad this is gonna be really fucking bad all right let's do it i'm going in Oh, I fucking shit on him. How many scales did we get from that big fucking boy? We only get six scales. That's fine. That was fucking fun. Holy, if we can take on those sea serpents, I don't see us having a problem with any other ones. Nice. I've always been scared of them because I didn't really know how much damage they would do, but that was a good fucking test. All right, let's see if we get any good enchants or... I'm gonna take that book because I see range on it. And there's another range book and education too. Pretty fucking sick. What we got in here? I'm breaking three moisturized. Well, I am always wet. We also got a pink rune in here. That is a brand new one. I don't remember picking up a pink one last time. So hopefully that's a golem piece. Oh, what the fuck? A rare dude. What you drop? Sharpen two, I'm breaking two. Get this shit out of my inventory. Professionals have standard skeleton. Hey, another rune. That looks like a new one. Come on. Ah, oh, well, we got a crafting rune out of it. Four ruins from this is definitely not too bad. That is a very good amount. In fact, our inventory is looking a little bit beefed up now, so I'm going to teleport back home and see what these ruins may be. All right, it's time for daddy to get paid. What do we got? 
All right, first ruin. Yes! <laughs> okay, so it's got a fucking bitch-ass shulker shell in there, but we do have golem boots. That's fucking awesome. Let's see if we got any other golem items. Oh my fucking god. We got a golem chest plate as well. So this one is a very easy recipe. Let's see if we got any other pieces. We got a water gem again, and this one is a vein mining pickaxe. I'm excited as fuck that we have golem boots. Look, plus 15, plus 24. Compare that to our fucking plus 8, plus 24. That's fucking crazy. Okay, wait, let me make sure which one is that again. So that's a golem piece, and this one's a golem piece. So in the chest, I'm gonna put those in their own special little area. And then we have room for a helmet and the legs. Hopefully the helmet is an easy recipe. That is the most necessary one. Woo! I'm fucking happy that we actually two golem pieces from one area. That's fucking nice. I know I say nice a lot, but listen, it's so good. Oh my God. I'm going to go ahead and put up all these bones as well and put infinity on our bow. Oh no, I'm not able to put infinity on my bow. Ooh. I think it's either because of strafe or range. I'm not completely sure. To actually test this, I do have a strafe two bow here. So are we allowed to put infinity on it? Okay, no. So strafe prevents you from putting infinity onto your bow. I don't know why but it dies. So my plan is to make a new flame dragon bomb bow and start working on that one separately to make that one a god bow because this one can't have infinity and that kind of hurts. So let me find the items that we're going to need, which I'm pretty sure we have enough dragon bones. <laughs> we could probably roll it as a legendary as well. I'll pull out four stacks of bones just to see if we can get that. That there and these two in the corner. There's our dragon bone strength and long bow. And then we got to take our fire dragon's blood. Go ahead, and put that up there. All right, let's see if we can get lucky. Hey, there we go. Legendary. Fucking nice. 15% projectile damage. All right. That didn't take as many bones as I thought it would. It did take more than what we had previously, though. <laughs> I could say that. Let's slap that in there. First, we're going to put on infinity. And then we're going to put on range. And now we just need to get a power book in the future. Probably either normal power five or maybe advanced power if we want to go for like a big boy bow. This is going to hurt a lot of you to see. Everybody look away. If you don't want to see what I'm about to do, look away. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay all right now we just combine that now we have infinity range and power five you know i thought that would probably be a better idea instead of just letting that bow go to rot so now this bow is definitely way better than the previous one all we need is one single arrow to use this and now we actually don't even have to get close to dragons anymore we can actually shoot them super far away because range is one of the most broken bow enchants in the entire fucking mod pack of course we need one single arrow and i don't have one god damn it let me get a piece of flint right quick by breaking out my walls. I need to make some arrows. So this is my fastest way of doing that. Hey, there we go. And you know what? I kind of like the new addition of a little bit of nightlight. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm going to fucking patch it. Here, we'll use netherrack for the guys who keep getting pissed off on my house. There you go. Look better? All right, let me take a nap. Go ahead and combine all these to make four arrows. And there we go. Now we can use this bow as much as we want. And that is going to be so fucking fun. So... I'm going to now travel in the north direction again. It looks like I didn't go too far last time. Oh, wait a minute. Wasn't there a battle tower? Hold on. Earlier, I remember I said I was going to do a battle tower next to the village, but I completely fucking forgot about it. Let me go back over there and do that. Since we are looking for those and other things anyways, may as well go bop that one and see what we get. Shut up, Phoenix. Don't fucking talk back to me. Oh, yeah, there, there it is. Okay, let's go to the top of this bad boy and knock it out and see what loot we get. <laughs> He's not doing anything. He just said it like... <laughs> He's dead! What the fuck? This does that much damage? Holy shit! I'd say that went pretty well. Oh, wow, that's a lot. All right, let's jump on in. See what we got. Oh, and there's a tool belt. I needed one of these. 4% attack damage and magic shielding. That is sick. I was actually going to craft one of those later, but and that's, you know, it, that reminded me. Oh, and we got a balloon. That's a cool little trinket that we can put on. We got 1% speed on it, and now it lets us jump really fucking high. <laughs> All right, this battle tower was a fucking nice one. Four blocks of emeralds, a bunch of diamond gear as usual, and diamond pet armor. 11 lapis blocks, a cat music disc, a potion ring, and a balloon and a tool belt but yeah no we got a bunch of stuff from this a lot of good things it seems like every time we do a battle tower i have to go back to the base and put up everything but hey i'm not complaining this is fucking amazing loot all right there's another eight <laughs> we have 16 blocks of diamonds <laughs> Holy fucking shit. I actually have to make more chests. All right, let me go chop down another tree and get another chest. We are running out of loot room. I don't think I would have ever said this in the previous episode. <laughs> oh no, Maka move. No, no. He's gone. We managed to get three chests out of that. Let's go plop these down. There we go. Now we got a second loot chest and I can shove everything inside of this one. From all that adventuring though, we did get another potion ring from that previous battle tower. And I think I may go ahead and make another resistance ring because you can actually stack the resistances and get resistance too. We take off this ring and over here on the left, you'll notice we have resistance one. 
Now we have resistance two. And the ring actually rolled 1.5 armor, which is literally the same as what we had. So I'm gonna keep looking around for battle towers still. And if we don't find any more glowing ingots, or if we don't find any at all, I'm just going to go ahead and mine some silver ore down in the mines. Since we already have all this stuff to make more glowing ingots, it may just be the best idea to do that, but I'm gonna give the battle towers a few more shots and see if we get lucky with them. <laughs> Fucking dude, Phoenix, I love you, man. You have changed my entire game. Now we watch. All right, so our inventory is pretty much cleaned up. Let's do one crouch. Oh, and we actually got a glowing ingot from this one. Oh, and we got another cobalt shield. Pop that on. Anything on it? 8% attack damage? We are keeping that. Oh, we got some more glowing ingot. F four? Yes, this is what we were looking for. We need more towers like this. We also got an experience tome, which gives us exactly 30 levels, so... Pop that on, throw that on the ground. I can make this, so there's no point in holding on to it. Okay, let's teleport back to the base. Another successful tower. So I'm gonna take the glowing ingots, go back to the base, pick up another glowing ingot, craft that down into powder, and then make another glowing gem. There's another glowing gem. Nice. One more left to go, and then the dragon's eye is ours. All right, Phoenix, we've got some more exploring to do. The map says there's a village over here. Is there? Oh, there is, wow. All right, we got another village with an actual waystone and another library. I'm going to take a peek into the library. Hopefully we get some good books as usual. A mending book. Yay, there we go. And another mending book. I will definitely take that. And I'll also take the Unbreaking 3. This village was definitely one of the better ones, especially with the fucking double mending books. All right, let's get Phoenix back down here and keep on looking around. I do know this has a chance to give us runes as well, so we may as well check it. Exactly right there. I knew it. So this thing does have a chance to give you runes as well. I saw it while flying over and I was like, you know what? We may as well check it. Thankfully, I did. Holy shit. What the fuck? This is not how a village should generate. What the actual fuck? What the f- how did this place generate like this? Who let this happen? Oh, fuck it. There's a library over here. May as well check it. Scope Atomic Deconstructor 1. I'll definitely take it for the bottom. Feather Falling 4. I will f Yes! I need Feather Falling 4. I have been so scared of falling off my mountain dying. I don't know if I can put it on with high jump, but if I can, that's fucking fantastic. I'm not even gonna bother looking for a librarian in all of this fucking mess. This- this village has gone to shit. There is definitely a dragon over here. So let's go ahead and take this bad boy out, yeah? <laughs> oh, fuck. I love doing that. 22 scales, 8, and 5 extra bones on the side. And of course, as usual, the dragon skull. All right, Phoenix, come back to me. Got some more chest and a sea serpent that I'm pretty sure sees me. Yep. Motherfucker can leap. God damn. Holy shit. You think I'm going to let you loose for attacking my fucking boy? Well, you're right, because I don't want to go down there. Oh, you motherfucker. You were hiding. You bitch. That's what you fucking get. Hey, give me your scales. They're mine now. How many did you drop? Oh, wow. 13. Okay, never mind. Yeah, no. Killing you was worth it. So I was checking out these chests, and then he rudely interrupted. No good enchants, but definitely will take the extra crafting rune. All right. What else do we got around here? Whoa. Okay. A tier 5 dragon's nest peeking out of the ground. Holy shit. So we're gonna mark this with tier 5 dragon with a skull. And in the future, we will come back to this. And hopefully it's a female. If it is, we will grab ourselves a dragon's egg and get a dragon mount. But my god, I did not expect to see one this close to the fucking ground. Usually these things are really, really far on the ground. That's actually crazy. And so... Uh, two next to each other? You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna hop down and check this out. All right, let's see what we get. We got a crafting room here. Life steal four? Oh my god. Yes. Windstorm. Death from above. Oh, there's more ox. Hold on. This is not my base. Why would it? Okay, so we do have a Morok right here. If we can get him as a mount, that is the fastest mount in the entire mod from what I know. All right, good. He's going to stay over there because we unloaded him. We're going to make our way back to our base, craft some dragon treats, and then see if we can tame him. If we can, I'm going to actually be super excited. Phoenix will still be our boy, but Morok will be our next one. We actually got Windstorm as an event. This is the perfect event to get a brand new mount on top of our fucking rock. All right, we're back home. Let's make some dragon treats. We need some bones and we need some emeralds. And thankfully, we have a shit ton of emeralds now. Yeah, there we go. Just in case it doesn't go that well, this should be a good amount. All right, there's our soul stone. We're now set up to try and tame him. All right, so summon our boy. Let's fly over there and let's get these dragon treats ready. Come on, Morok, still be here. There he is. He's so fast. Come here, come here. 
Yeah! <laughs> nice! Let's look at our mount menu, and there's our Morok. That's what you like to see. All right, so here is the new saddle for the Morok. Hopefully, we still have some diamond pet armor, unless it's all horse armor from the battle towers. So let's see. Oh, no, wait, diamond pet armor, and one has speedy, 10% speed. Put this saddle on, put the diamond armor, and check him out. He's fucking beefed out. So the reason why this is the best mount, if I press X, we just zoom straight forward super fast. <laughs> this is going to be way better for exploring. So I have decided what I want to name this Morok. I've decided to name this one Stitches because bitches get fucking Stitches and my boy is going to rip them a fucking new one. Now that we're at home though, I'm going to go ahead and put my bow inside of the anvil and give it unbreaking three. That way we can use it for a lot longer. I'm also going to go ahead and take these mending books and put it on some of my armor. But actually, wait a minute. You know what? My pants are not good armor at all. Physical protection, too, is definitely not what we want to be rocking whenever we're fighting a bunch of enemies. So, I do have a shit ton of extra blue sea serpent scales, and I think that actually would look pretty cool with the rest of our color scheme we got going. Let me go ahead and grab some sea siren scales from the main base. Now we can take the sea serpent scales, put them down here, and then craft them into some tide guardian leggings. So, what I'm going to do is do a little bit of mob grinding, and do some cyclings until I see prop 4, and then grab that enchant. All right, and there's level 30. Let's see what we roll in these pants. Hopefully some other good side benefits, but if not, advanced prop 1 is just fine. And, oh wow, advanced prop 1, advanced thorns 2, and agility 2 anyways. Nice! So we walk faster, we take less damage, and we give back damage. That is fucking sick. I'm also going to go ahead and throw on one of the mending books. That way it can repair itself into the future. And while we're at it, may as well take off our boots and add Feather Falling 4. And can we add mending on our boots as well? Hey, why not? Okay, now that we got all that set up and ready to go, we could finally look at those ruins that we've been holding on to for a little bit. I didn't forget about it. Don't worry, I do not forget about things, okay? That would be really cringe if I did. So, let's see what exactly are on these ruins. The first one, the green one, Golden Leggings! Fuck yes! Another vein pickaxe. A life belt. What else did we get? Oh, that one just, uh, that one just disappeared. Golem boots again, all right. Cushion boots. And then we got another vein pickaxe. All right, so we've almost got the full golem set. Now we need to do some mining. We need to get the rest of the silver ingots so we can make glowing gems for the dragon's eye. And thankfully, we only need four more bars because we do have two glowing ingots at the base already. I'll show you if we find anything. Finally, I found some silver ore and some diamonds next to it. Look at all of this shit I had to mine out just to find this little bit of silver. How fucking rare is this shit? I guess it doesn't matter now. We finally have some silver ore. Thank God, man. For so long, so long. Union, have you forgot about the dragon's eye? Union, when are you gonna get it carried? Union, just kill a zombie, forehead. Well, now look who's talking. Finally, dude. Here we fucking go. Let's smelt down the silver ore. Now we need to go over to the mob farm and grab the glowstone and the blaze powder. Hello. Just like that, there's another four glowing ingots. Now we gotta convert one of these into glowing powder. Then we have to make a ring of the enchanted ice, so we need a golden carrot. There is our golden carrot right there. Now we need to put one glowing ingot up here. Ring of the enchanted eyes. All right, we're gonna need another block of diamond right here. Four glowing powder going around it. And the four glowing ingots. There's our third glowing gem. So. Here it comes at long fucking last. We are finally creating the dragon's eye. Yo! <laughs> That's a pretty good fucking quality too. I can't, I cannot lie. That's fucking beautiful. Undying, jagged, dragon's eye permanent fire resistance and we can choose any ore to see through walls we finally did it oh man i'm so happy we finally have that now that we got the dragon's eye i want to do one more thing before we end today's episode i want to go do a lycanite's dungeon and i'm going to be doing the one that was next to our spawn since episode one so Let's summon stitches. I just gotta find the entrance into this, and if I can't, I'll probably just dig into it. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just dig into it. I'm going in with no bandages, so hopefully we find some while doing this. Let's do a fucking dungeon, boys. All right, let's do this. What do you think this is? A playground? Come on, man. Ooh, sneak. Whoa, wait a minute. Is this it? Holy shit. Wait a minute. This is a tier five dragon's nest. Oh, fuck. Hold on. No, there's not a tier 5 dragon down there. There's a tier 5 dragon loose. Oh, shit. It's not the green one, I don't think. Hold on. I need to go make sure. If so, we got we have to take him out. Oh, of course, it's gonna be raining. Why does it have to be dramatic? That has to be a tier 5, right? Hold on. 
I was supposed to do a dungeon and you got in my way. You're definitely not a tier five. You are not a tier five. No, that's not a tier five. So where's the tier five? Yeah, you're a tier three. There's no way. Okay, um, where's the green dragon? Sit the fuck down. Where is this goddamn tier five? <laughs> so this green one is definitely a smaller one as well. Oh, this is a baby in comparison. Oh, fuck. Unless he's still sleeping and I didn't see him? I have to make absolutely sure. That is the worst situation if he's loose. He could fly over to my base and just blow it up, right? He could have done it in the previous episodes if he's not there. There's no fucking way. All right, sit right here, Stitches. Stay here. Oh, shit. He... He's dead. I've had a tier 5 dragon next to my base the entire time, and he died from drowning. He died from fucking drowning. Are you serious? Really? Is this a female or a male? I guess we're about to find out. Oh my god, we got a dragon egg. What the fuck? We... <laughs> I didn't even... I... This dragon's been dead next to my base the whole time? I could have had a dragon mount since episode one. Are you serious? Fuck yeah, dude. What the? Yes, man. Holy shit. That's fucking sick. I just got a bronze dragon egg. Holy fucking shit. I didn't even have to do anything for it. Well, we're definitely gonna have a dragon soon. We're gonna have our own bronze little bunny. That's fucking awesome. All right, now that we have a dragon's egg, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and continue through this Lycanite's dungeon because I've, I've really wanted to do one these past few episodes, but I really haven't been able to. But now we can. So let's go ahead and steamroll this fucking dungeon. Woo! This is a great fucking way to test out this weapon, man. God damn. Can I help you, Gru? No, I don't think I can. Hey, there's Pon Kong, the first boss. Nice. We get the poop scepter and we got poop. Funny. Poop funny. Anybody laughing yet? You like poop fart? Fart shit come piss? Anybody laughing yet? All right, let's go down to level two. I'm gonna get my summons out for this one. Fuck that. I'm not messing with that little shit. Oh, get him off me! Ah, don't touch me! I don't like spiders! Alright, princess, I need to do a test of the damage of my new bow. Can you, uh, stand still? Okay, you know, it's just a two-shot. That's fine. How many diamonds do you drop? Holy shit. Twenty fuck! God damn! Okay. Well, level three, the final level of the dungeon. The strongest boss will be down here, and it's the Malevolent Observer. He's actually pretty dangerous from what I know, so I do have to be kind of careful. Oh shit, he's over here! Let's take him out. You stupid bitch! Thankfully, I can just hide behind this door and he won't be able to target me. I say this now, he's looking directly at me. That's kind of terrifying. My house is burning! Holy shit, he has a lot of HP. Nice. There he goes. What do we get as a drop? Arcane Storm Scepters. Oh, I think that's the thing he actually shoots from his face. Let me try that out. Oh yeah, that's what he shoots from his face. That's fucking actually really cool. I don't think I'm gonna use those, so I will drop those. But that was pretty fucking fun. We just steamrolled a Lycanite's dungeon. Ooh, there's a Gru hanging up there. Watch this, one tap. Bet! No! Get down, Mr. President! Oh, fuck, no, I killed the bat! I'm going to jail, I'm going to jail! Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to kill the bat. He walked in front of it, I swear. This was definitely not a bad dungeon. And we got a dragon's egg out of it, which was highly unexpected. Wait a minute, why is there another dead dragon body? I thought I already looted it. What? Why is there another... Why is there another dragon's body? The fuck? What? Can I loot you again? What the fuck? What in... What? What the fuck did I just do? All I did was walk away and walk back and there's another dead dragon down here. It gave me another dragon egg. Uh, okay. I'm actually fucking confused. Yeah, no, it was the same dragon, stage four. Whatever just happened, whatever I did, or whatever I didn't do, I'm not gonna complain. You know what? I'm gonna get out of here before some weird shit happens where it spawns like 40 alive versions. I'm not even gonna fuck with it. That's so weird. I didn't reset my world. I didn't relog. All I did was go through the dungeon and then walk back and the dragon was respawned dead. I don't know what to say. I actually do not know what to say. Well, I'm just gonna summon stitches and fly back home 
And yeah, now we got two dragon eggs. We got a green one and a brown one. That'll be a great place to end off today's episode. Even though I still have no clue how the fuck that dragon died twice. So, throughout all the progress today, we managed to get two dragon's eggs, a brand new flame dragon bow with legendary quality, and infinity, range, power 5, and unbreaking 3. We did a bunch of battle towers and got ourselves a shit ton of loot. I'm talking blocks of diamonds, blocks of emeralds, all of it. We got everything. Killed a shit ton of dragons, got a bunch of dragon bones, killed a bunch of sea serpents on the side as well, because, you know, eh, why not? We also managed to stockpile a bunch of ruins, and we almost got everything. Every single ruin for the golem armor set, just missing the helmet. And we made a bunch of new baubles, including the dragon's eye at long last. And we gotta give a huge thanks to the brand new mounts, Phoenix and Stitches, for carrying us the whole fucking way. The without these guys, none of this would have been possible. But yeah, I am so fucking pumped to see how fast and how fun it's going to be to obliterate the final bosses, including the new one. And of course, we have to take down the inner dragon. And I have a feeling we'll be getting to that way sooner than expected.